There are 75 olive trees here. And Robbie, Al, Sandra, and I put these nets out. And you put them under the trees. You have to sew the nets together. And there's some holes that you have to fill in. We sew them together. And then you have a machine that comes out and shakes the olives off the trees. And you can see that the hill is terraced. And the olives fall off the trees onto the nets. And then what you do is there are about three places where the olives gather. And so you pick the olives up and you have to get the leaves separated from the olives before you take them to the processor. We, Robbie and I mainly, hauled up from the hills in buckets about 1,200 pounds of olives. And with that we made about 70 liters of olive oil. About oh, 50 to 75 percent more than Alessandro has ever made before. It was hard work, but a lot of fun. You can see there's still some olives on the trees, not too many. It was hard because you'd be way down there and you have these buckets that probably had about 30 pounds of olives in them. And you had to climb up these hills, which were sometimes it was slippery because it had rained. And you have to make your way to the house where we put them on racks where we would separate the leaves a little bit more and then put them in big burlap bags to take to the co-op where they squish the, the olives and where you got your olive oil. So today's Saturday and Tomorrow, Robbie and I go to Milan for a day, and then the next day, we catch the plane back to Baltimore. It's been a great trip. Yesterday, Robbie and I walked along Cinque Terre. We met Carol at Monte Rosa, and from there, we took the ferry to Porta Venere, had lunch, and then took the ferry and the train back to Manalia. These trees are old. I remember when in Corfu, they said some of the olive trees were hundreds of years old. This is what the olives, individual olives look like. And Robbie and I figured out by the weight of one olive that we picked up and carried over 100,000 olives out of this olive grove. That's a lot of olives.